Hey guys, welcome to My Hustle, and in this episode, I'm going to be talking about how to understand the VIX and use it to your advantage to make profitable trades. Hi guys, if you just started trading, I'd like to point you to two resources on the Maui Hustle channel. The first is a playlist called Getting Started. In it, I direct you to the most helpful videos that I found when I started trading. Tasty Trade is an educational platform that covers the basics of how to make money trading options. They explain it better than any other resource that I found. One thing that was challenging for me was knowing how to execute all the con concepts that I was learning. So in my videos, I not only point you to the best resource available, I also show you how to execute these trades step by step on the Tastyworks platform. I've used so many different platforms in the two decades of training, and I haven't found one with faster execution speeds or better fills. The best part of this is that they charge zero in commissions, and these features alone will save the average trader thousands of dollars per year. Links to the playlist and to open a Tasty Trade account are in the descriptions below. Hit the subscribe button to get trade ideas at the beginning of each week. Thanks for watching. Hey, welcome to Maui Hustle, and this is the last video in this series, but probably the most important. And uh, I'm just going to go over the importance of uh, volatility and liquidity. And I can't go through all the um, things in this, the episodes 4.1 to 4.6, but here's an example of the pre trade uh, checklist that uh, Tasty Trade. Uh, recommends that you have liquidity, a good IV rank, uh, that you check that there's not any um, notable events that are happening, uh, check the expiration period, uh, your probability of profit, and how much return on capital you can get. And that's all covered uh, in the episode there. So uh, we're going to jump straight into um, the platform. And I want to talk about how I use IV rank and how I use um, implied volatility, liquidity, and some of those things. Uh, before that, I'd like to just show you um, the results of uh, trading this past year. I've been trading for about 20 years and um, I'm teaching my kids how to trade. So you can see that the profit in last year to date for every single account is positive. And uh, these are my kids' accounts. Um, I don't have the, the net liquidity or the total balance of the accounts or the account numbers, those are hidden. Um, but you can see that uh, my son, he's uh, made $1,500 in profit. My daughter's made $1,500. Um, I've made $25,000 in my account. Um, this is the profit last for the day. You can see today I lost $347. Not every day is a winning day, but um, this is one thing that I look at when I see different uh, people teaching online uh, they they can show you one profitable trade and um, and record that and show that to you but uh, I haven't seen too many people show their profit loss year to date uh, in the platform because that's something that you can't uh, edit or that's something that you can't fake so um, you know not every day is a profitable day and I'm just trying to be transparent here and showing uh, that there are days that are negative but the main thing is that um, that overall you're profitable. And so the trading style that I have is not one that I'm sitting in front of the computer all the time. Um, I do probably 90% of all my trades on my phone. And um, But this is just an easier way to show um, what I'm looking at when I do trade. So, um, so right here, this is a watch list of the ETFs. And what I want to show is um, implied volatility, implied volatility rank, and um, and how that affects the price that you can get selling options. Um, with Tasty Trade, we focus on selling options, not buying it. Uh, most people like to buy it because there's a limited risk with uh, um, unlimited profit. Uh, but the chances that you're going to make money are very, very uh uh, it's much smaller when you buy options and what I've experienced and you can see from the numbers here that when you sell options it's way more of a profitable um, endeavor because the chances are on your side as the seller you have uh, the potential of unlimited loss um, and limited gain so it's completely opposite of buying um, buying options but 
uh, the chances are in your favor and I'll show you how to do that as well today. So, um, so first thing is the implied volatility. So implied volatility, you can see that INO, that's a pharmaceutical because of the COVID crisis, you can see that the implied volatility is 200%. And if you check into the chart, you can see that the low was like $2. And it's gone from $2 all the way up to $12. And uh, it almost hit $20 at some point. So say you had a thousand shares of this for you know, $2, it would have gone all the way up to $18,000. And that's a crazy uh, gain that you could have gotten in that. And so you have this implied volatility of 200%. This is a great filter. Like if you wanna look for things that are moving a lot, just look for implied volatility that's off the charts then you'll be able to find stocks that are moving a lot. Um, that doesn't really apply to the country style that I like to do, but um, so you can see oil. Oil is just, um, you know, 75% is a, is a huge amount of implied volatility. It was trading at 300 at uh, one point of the year, dropped all the way down to 60, and now it's currently trading at 160. So this thing has been all over the place. Uh, in my 20 years of trading, I've never seen oil go into the negatives and uh, just I think about two weeks ago we saw the futures of oil uh, drop below zero and into the negative and that was like one of the craziest things I've ever seen. Anyway, so oil, 75%, a lot of these uh, XOP, USO, XLE, these are all oil ETFs and that's why the implied volatility is so high. So you can see um, uh, the the implied volatility here. This is the expected price fluctuation within a year. Um, and how does that affect the amount of money that you can make selling uh, selling insurance or selling um, options on these stocks? So um, what I wanna do is I wanna look at, uh, just so that you have an apple to apple um, uh, comparison, we have gold here that has an implied volatility of 17% and its price is 161. Here you have oil, uh, OIH, its implied volatility is 75% and its price also is at around $160. So let's look at how that the implied volatility affects the premium that you can collect or how much it costs for the insurance. So try to think about that. If there's something that fluctuates 17%, how much would the premium be uh, if you're insuring it? Uh, would, the, would the insurance cost more or would it cost less than something that fluctuates at 75%? Okay, so if you said that the insurance costs more for something that fluctuates at 75%, then you would be correct. So how much more is the question? So let's jump into the platform and let's look at gold. So gold, um, say you want to insure something at 38 days and you want to insure it at the money, $161. Um, it would cost $300 because remember, um, the bid and ask is per share and this uh, options are contracts per 100 shares. So if I were to sell insurance to somebody who wants to insure um, their holdings of gold, 100 shares of their holdings at gold at $161 and they want to insure it for 38 days, they would pay me uh, $325. And um, and that's not a lot of that's not a lot of premium. Think about it. If you were holding 100 shares of gold at $16,000, uh, $16,100, would you be willing to pay $300 to make sure that if the price fell, that you'd still be able to sell it at $161. Um, like that's a pretty good price uh, for 38 days, a whole month. Um, if it falls, then just $1 and you're holding 100 shares, that's $100. If you, it fell $3, then that's $300. So anything more than that, and you're making money. Um, so, Right here we have uh, how much the brokerage firm will put a hold on your account. They'll put a hold on your account of $3,200 uh, to sell $300 worth of insurance in gold. 
Okay, so so let's compare that with oil. Um, oil, instead of being 17% implied volatility, it's 75% implied volatility. To ensure uh, $160 would cost you $1,300 instead of $300. So review and send, you can see that you can collect from someone $1,300 and someone would be willing to pay $1,300 to ensure that 160 price point uh, for their 100 shares. And if you were to sell insurance to somebody, um, your account would have a hold on it of $12,000. So, uh, so that's the way that uh, volatility affects the premium that you can collect on a certain stock. So. Uh, that's why IV is really important. Now, IV rank, IV rank is um, compared to itself. How high is that premium when you compare that over a whole year? So, uh, the IV rank, um, you can look at uh, the highest IV rank is DBA, and that's an agricultural um, uh, agricultural ETF. And we're seeing that compared to itself, uh, this 29% uh, volatility, implied volatility, is uh, has only been higher um, 23% uh, of the year. So uh, this might be a good thing to sell into. Okay, so um, so that's IV rank. Um, the last thing I wanted to look at was your liquidity how do you check your liquidity so let's jump back into um let's jump back into gold and oil so gold if you open up the 38 day um the 38 day we can see that there's seven thousand um open contracts at this price range so anything in the hundreds is pretty good liquidity um, you can get in and out if there's hundreds of contracts that are open at that price point. And then let's compare it with oil. Oil at the 38 day at the money, $160, there's 200 contracts. So not nearly as liquid as gold, but still uh, 200 contracts is not bad. Um, I would be, feel comfortable uh, trading that. One thing to keep in mind is uh, the spread the difference between the bid and the ask. So normally I like to uh, trade things that don't have such wide spreads. This has thir um, about a dollar, uh, about a dollar in difference, a little bit less than a dollar in difference. Um, and there's only 220 contracts trading this. I would, I would jump in here and split the bid and the ask instead of if I'm gonna sell, I wouldn't sell at 1360. I would sell at like $14 and see if I could uh, get that price point. So gold, because gold has so much more contracts open, you could anticipate that the spread between the bid and the ask is gonna be much smaller because there's so many more people trading gold. So let's take a look at that. Um, gold, if we jump into gold, at 38 days, the same time frame, um, it has 7,000 contracts of open interest, and the difference instead of being a dollar is only 10 cents. So you can see see the difference that um, the open interest contracts has um, in the uh, cost of the spread, and so the more liquid a product, then the more um, uh, the smaller the bid in the ask and the smaller risk uh, at entry that you have when you enter into a trade. So that's, um, that is the uh, kind of the big idea of implied volatility and how you can use it to your advantage. Um, one of the things that uh, I didn't get into, but uh, with volatility, you can also see the expected um, move of the stock. Uh, with this brown shaded area. So uh, because gold is only 17%, uh, its expected move in 38 days is only down to 155 or up to 167. 
So it's about、um, a five point, six point move down, and、uh, about a six point move up. So six points down, six points up. That's the expected move. If you look at oil, it has a seventy-five percent、um, implied volatility. So the expected move is going from one sixty all the way down to one thirty-three, and all the way up to one eighty-five. So because the expected move is so much greater, you could actually sell off、uh, instead of selling at the money. You could sell out here, where the delta is point、uh, point two. So, if I wanted to sell at the point two,、um, I could collect four hundred dollars,、um, and I could collect four hundred dollars. Nine thousand dollars would be put on hold in my account.、Um, now, remember, with gold, to collect four hundred dollars, I would have to sell all the way up here with only a forty-five percent chance of making money. But with、uh, oil, I can sell. Um, way down here, still collect over three hundred dollars. I could collect four hundred and eighty dollars with a pretty good percent chance of making money. And the way that the Tasty Works platform、uh, works is, you can see that if I sold、uh, this option here for four hundred and eighty dollars,、uh, because it's all the way out at the point two delta, I have an eighty-five percent chance probability of profit. And if I close this out at fifty percent, my probability of profit at fifty percent jumps to eighty-nine percent. So、uh, this is a great,、um, a great, a much better way that I've seen of making money selling premium instead of buying it, and having the chances on your side of making money. I would rather.、Um, Have an eighty-nine percent chance of making money selling,、um, than I would fifty-fifty of just、uh, buying or selling stock. So, hopefully, that was、um, helpful to you, and、um, I will see you in the next video.